What is going on everyone, Vertic Designs here and for today's video I want to show you all how to create a basic 3D text in Photoshop. Now the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and get yourself of course the text. So we're just going to get ourselves the text tool and we're just going to type in any text that you want in the text box and the font that I'm using is called Adobe Clean. There'll be a link down below if you'd like to use the same one. Now from here we're going to go to the first tool, press Ctrl or Command and A and you want to center align your text. So in order to actually make this 3D, we're going to also get ourselves a background layer. So you want to go to new and get yourself a solid color underneath this. We're going to get this nice baby blue and apply it underneath the text. Now that we've got ourselves the 2D text, to turn this into 3D, all we need to do is simply right click on the text layer you want to go all the way to the bottom and you'll see a new 3d extrusion from selection go ahead and click on here and this will ask you do you want to go to the 3d workspace you want to click on yes and this is just going to switch things up and make it look like this you have your 3d modes at the top and if you're wondering how can you rotate it it is the first option on the 3d mode this will allow you to have a 360 look at your text you also have the rotation which is the second one you can rotate the text you have the move if you want to move your text anywhere on the screen you also have this fourth tool which is the camera position so if you want to look further away or closer to the actual text you can change it in here and the very last one is the actual size itself you can change the text size just by adjusting it with this one right here. If you didn't want it to be this thick and you wanted a little bit more thinner, you can just simply drag this down and decrease the actual extrusion depth. Now this is a little bit more thinner. It kind of looks a little bit boring. There's nothing exciting. It is just a basic flat 3D design. So in order to make this more exciting and make it look more interesting, we're going to edit the actual preset itself. You can change it to any other preset that you want just by changing it in here. And this will change the actual caps around the text. And personally for me, the one that I like is this rounded off one right here. It kind of looks like a donut. So let's say for example, we wanted to change the color of the text or we wanted to change the actual material. Make sure that you select all of your extrusions on the text. So hold and shift click on the bottom one and select all of them. Now this will give you the option to change the base color, the inner color, and also the material itself. So let's say for example, you wanted a basic color of, I don't know, a red color, or you wanted a purple color. You can easily change it in here by moving around the slider. If you wanted to apply an actual material, you would just simply go in here and apply yourself any of these materials right in here. So let's say for example, we wanted this nice gold material. Now you're probably wondering how exactly can I add a custom material to this option right here? Now to create yourself a custom material, you need to first of all, open it up in a separate window or in the current window. And then from here, you want to go to layers. And all you want to do now is go ahead and go up to the 3D, go down to a new mesh from layer, and then go to postcard. The lighting will look very strange. And the reason for this is because we need to go into the 3D mode and go ahead and add a infinity light. However, you may need to turn it down just a little bit so it's not too extreme. And then from here is select yourself the layer. You want to go into the drop down menu, click on the gear icon and go to new material. From here, you can give it any name that you want. So let's just call this and then go ahead and press OK. You can then minimize this. And now if you get yourself any text, for example, this one, you can go onto the 3D layer, select all of your extrusions, and then go into the drop down menu, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you will see your new material right here. And that is how you add your own custom material to it. We also have some other options such as the glow, the roundness, the height, reflections or refraction, density, and much more. So let's say, for example, we wanted to apply a metallic look to it. We would once again make sure that all of this is selected and we would apply the metallic percentage onto here. And as you can see, we now have this basic 
3D text right here. Now you're probably wondering how exactly can I edit the lighting? And the two ways that you can do this is first of all, is you can control how far the text is from the ground by going to the third tool and you can make it either float or you can make it on the ground and this will make it so that it's touching the shadow. The second way is to actually edit the shadow itself and you can do this by going over to the infinite light right here and this will allow you to go on to the coordinates and you'll have the X, Y and Z. Let's say that you wanted to change the light and position where it currently is. You would change the X at the top and let's say we wanted it on the left side we would increase the X and we would also change the Y. If we want it further away, we would go into the minus and this will change the distance. We can also change the Z as well and this will also apply a little bit of a distance right here. And at the moment, this may look low quality and the reason for this is because this is just a preview. This isn't the end result. So in order for you to actually preview the actual result, you would need to select yourself the text and you want to click on the render button right here. Now this may take a while because it has to process all of the text. Once it's done processing, this is what it actually looks like. And as you can see, I actually got ripped off because this does not look like real gold. <laughs> it just looks like it is some cheap gold that has just faded its color. So in order to fix this and the easiest way to fix this is to simply edit the lighting. Now for me, I did it the lazy way, which is to simply go onto the actual light source itself. And all I did was I changed the color right here, the percentage of the intensity. All I did was set it to 190. And what this did was it made it a lot brighter. So then when I actually rendered the overall project, you can see it's starting to look more brighter. And there it is. There is the final result of what it actually looks like now when we've turned up the brightness and the intensity. But anyway, that is pretty much it. That is how you create 3D text in Photoshop. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, smash that like button. And as always, I will see you all in our next video. Bye.